Hey, you! What's up, guys? Um, anyways, besides the awkward intro, I have a video that I wanted to bring out for you guys late tonight. Just talking about these new SBCs that we got today and some new things coming for FIFA uh, in the future of this year. Um, talk about what I think about them. Give you guys the knowledge of what's going on. Uh, if you guys appreciate the video, uh, you don't have to drop a like. All right. Weirdest intro I've ever made. I got to say, this one by far is the weirdest intro I've ever made. But uh, let's get into the video. So um, as we look at these new SBCs that came out today, guys, we got two upgrade SBCs. Now, the first one is a foot champions upgrade. And this is a exchange foot champions items to get an 83 to 86. Guys, these SBCs are repeatable and they are available forever. Um, this one, I'm not crazy about in terms of value. I think you guys are better holding on to, to your team of the seasons and waiting for the big boy one. And if you guys don't know what the big boy one is already, I will show you the big boy one. The big boy one is this one right here. Uh, foot Champions Premium Upgrade Exchange of Squad. Uh, exchange, of, exchange of Squad of Foot Champions players for one of three Foot Champions players rated 86 plus overall. So uh, basically you submit 11 players in. The chemistry is nothing, which means it's it's easy, right? Like it's easy. You can just submit it in here. You get the, you get the, you get it good to go and you get a pack. Now I did one of these earlier. I did two of these earlier. I recycled all my players and I ended up getting a red Aguero, which is pretty crazy. Also a red Teemo. If you guys are wondering who I chose, I ended up choosing Aguero. Now I wanted to make this video to give you guys some advice for uh, team of the season. Now, if you guys don't know already, when team of the season comes out, which is in four weeks from now, usually EA changes uh, the structure of weekend league rewards. If you guys watch my content, if you guys watch anybody on FIFA last year, you will see that around team of the season time, what actually happens uh, is that packs from elite rewards change to team of the season players. So this year, I'm having a, a prediction to you guys uh, that EA will probably change the weekend league rewards uh, to uh, packs that are going to be like an elite. So for elite three, you would get a one premium team of the season pack. So in this premium team of the season pack... Um, it, it will probably be a three-player pack among three Team of the Seasons. But what I think it will also entail this year uh, is that you will get three-player picks from Team of the Seasons. Now, EA already tweeted out today regarding uh, regarding this upgrade SBC. Like, EA already tweeted out this upgrade SBC. Uh, and what they said, guys, was that, hey, uh, as the weeks go on, we're going to add in Team of the Weeks into there. So I would assume as Team of the Seasons come out into these SBCs, you will have Team of the Seasons available to be chosen as a red player pick. Now, why am I telling you guys that? Why is it important? Well, it's important, guys, because essentially you're going to want to save your reds. Don't do this right now. I know it's very hard, but if you guys could save your reds all the way until team of the season, it makes sense because you'll be able to actually potentially open one of these premium packs with a red team of the season player in it. Because in team of the season time, when you play weekend league, uh, there should be um, red team of the season players available. Now, why did EA do this today? Why, what's going on with this? Well, one, I think this is probably going to be available for most of the next year. I think EA will bring this. This is awesome. Why did they do this? I'm assuming weekend league volume is low. Not enough people are playing weekend league. And there was actually a loading screen that they brought out today saying, play weekend league to get these reds and put them in this pack. So people, people were speculating that that's the main reason. I, I also believe that. But I think that people don't see that this is actually a very long SBC. You have to grind a long time to get this SBC done. It's going to take a very, very long time. You have to play weekend league, essentially every single week. And you get from say gold three to gold one, you would get two player picks that are red. And then to get the premium one, that's like five to six weeks of foot champions. So EA has mastered that tactic of getting people to come back to the game. It actually should keep buyers and things like that on the market pretty steady. Another thing that I wanted to discuss with you guys uh, outside of this. So look, I would say Definitely hold out on this if you have reds for team of the season. That, that's my verdict on it. I think that's the move. Um, you don't want to go too crazy doing all these SPCs. Now, I want to really quickly, I've got a new player of the month SPC that's coming very soon, uh, which we will talk about in this video. But EA also dropped today, guys, an insane amount of icons. Like, insane amount of icons were dropped. Um, I think the high rated golds on the market went up. To me, what this symbolizes, right? Everything is very good value except the upgrade SBCs for the icons. The upgrade SBCs are backwards broken. I don't agree with them. But the actual icons, Loudrup um, does not require much. If you look at Loudrup squads, it's an 83, an 84, an 85, and an 86. That's fantastic, right? That's almost nothing for Loudrup. You, that you can get that for free when you're doing upgrade packs during team of the season. So that's amazing from EA. GG to them today on all these icons because they did a really good job, guys, of making this fair and not... Not too much, right? 
Bobby Moore, 83 to 86, very cheap. I think Moore and Loudrop are less than 500K. Even Luis Hernandez, right? This is a meta card people like. No icon required, 83 to 87 with Team of the Weeks. That's fantastic. EA, we want more of this. This is perfect. Cruyff is very expensive, but Cruyff is a big boy icon. And to me, this tells me that in the future, we're going to be seeing these SBCs come on Friday. It's probably how EA is going to use the time in between now and Team of the Season. They're going to probably make Fridays crazy. They're going to probably drop a big boy icon and then drop a bunch of other icons on Fridays with that icon to start to filter out some of the other icons and then try to drop the big boy icon with it. So to me, that's what I'm seeing from EA today. But I don't know what EA is doing. I wanted to talk as well. Uh, I wanted to talk really quickly with you guys about this upgrade. I don't know what EA is doing. Like, what, what, what are we doing here? So, Rivaldo cost probably people 700, 800K when it first came out, okay? And now they've got to go spend an 83, an 84, an 85, an 86, and an 87. And I made a video about this the other day talking about how it's just, what is going on with it? Like, why are they doing it like this? I have no idea. Um, and then for the normal Rivaldo, you don't even need to submit an icon. And you need 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. I don't understand this. For the normal Rivaldo, you don't even need an icon, right? And then for the upgrade Rivaldo, you have to submit Rivaldo and do basically the same thing as the other one without an 88 rated squad. I, I just don't get the point. You're basically doing a double icon. It just, to me, doesn't make much sense uh, at all. I don't even understand who at EA is making the decisions to bring out that kind of SBC because it's honestly the worst SBC I've ever seen. Now, something I wanted to talk to you guys about today in this video which was another part about new SBCs that are coming to FIFA. Uh, MLS Player of the Month was just added into the code. Now, I don't know if you guys follow the MLS, but we've had a lot of SBCs via the MLS this year via Ibrahimovic. Uh, they've, they've obviously got the league SBCs, but Ibrahimovic, we've had a lot of, we've had the, what, like the flashback cards through the MLS. So Ibra was at max, I think this year, 150,000 coins. So this is a pretty cool thing that's gonna be coming uh, in the future to FIFA. I don't, I'm probably not gonna make videos of vesting on this, but Here's what I would tell you guys moving forward, just if you want to pick up some extra coins potentially uh, off of an MLS Player of the Month SBC every month. I have like a, a little bit of a hunch that I would tell you guys if you wanted to pick up some extra coins off the SBC potentially, what I would do is I would very much consider uh, going through every kind of week when they're low. What I would say is when, when uh, MLS special cards are really low, I would stock my club with like discard MLS informs just in case they do the off chance of they do one of those like, you know, when they were doing the Bundesliga player of the months and they required the uh, like the Bundesliga inform and they go extinct. Just kind of making these kind of discard in your club, keeping a stock of those at all times. And then also just keep your club filled with non rares and rares in the MLS. Just keep them in your club because what I'm assuming is that when we do get an MLS SBC for the player of the month, they will make it cheap. So it will be 30 to 40 to 50, 60 K depending on the player, maybe 150 max. They will give the player, uh, they will give the, the user base of FIFA a cheap SBC. But when cheap SBCs come out, especially for player of the month, because people love player of the month so much, people feel very like forced to do them. So when that happens, right, they all go buy these cards because they say it's cheap. So the SBCs always have like an absolutely insane demand. So I think you, if you could, because now you know that that's in the code and it's probably going to come anywhere from maybe tomorrow to the next month. Uh, for the rest of FIFA as the MLS is in the summer uh, main season, you guys are going to want to restock your club with just these MLS cards. I think it's, I think I'm, you're not going to watch me do this, right? I'll be completely honest with you guys. You're not going to watch me do something like this, but for you guys on, who are looking for some, to scrap some extra coins per month or just something, I know some guys really like to just grind this game and grind FIFA and like grind bronze spec method, stuff like that. This is like one of those things that I would consistently do and it is potentially something that can make you coins. I will also tell you, besides the SBC, like there's a very good chance that alone in the hype, right? Like when MLS's Twitter say tweets out that, hey, this guy just won MLS player of the month SBC or player of the month. There's a very good shot that on that hype alone, you will see a rise in these players just because there's gonna be Twitter pages, uh, investors, YouTube videos, people making videos talking about, hey, Invest in this player or this league for this SBC upcoming. So you might have the opportunity to like even sell on the hype for that kind of event. So I think that would be pretty cool. And I think you guys should, you guys should take upon that task, man. I think that would be something that I would not, I would not avoid. I think it's something smart guys. And I think, I think you guys should totally, totally, totally uh, look into it. I think it's, I think it's fair. Anyways, the market is really high guys. I'm not going to do a market watch tonight. I just wanted to kind of bring you guys this and talk to you guys about all these new SBCs that are on FIFA. Cause it's a lot. Like it's a lot. Let's be honest. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so yeah, I think it's I think it's relevant enough to discuss. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of just chilling, man. I'm not really I'm not really panicked. 
some of the flip birthdays, uh, I'm making like an insane amount of coins on. So some of them, I'm starting to take some money. I started trading with some moments icons. You guys saw that on stream today. So we started to do that. But for me tonight, I'm gonna be off FIFA for a bit. Not really touching too much FIFA for the night. Um, and then yeah, guys also wanna plug the second channel. If you haven't been watching the second channel, I've got some gameplay videos over there. So I don't know if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, but the second channel, we do have stuff like that uh, over there. So if you guys are interested in any kind of gameplay videos, things like that, we've got stuff over there. We've been doing some fun videos where we've been doing like playing with a foot birthday squad, just kind of different unique videos uh, along the lines of that. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace.